also in uh, NYU called the Center for Astroparticle and Planetary Physics. Um, so I should know something about this, but it's not clear how much. Um, when this title was suggested to me, um, I didn't think I had a choice, so I said yes. The truth is, I had thought about it when I proposed this center for space science in 2014. And I thought that um, the university should really do something major to support the UAE space effort. But in the last few years, things have changed so rapidly that I'm not sure my views are really that uh, important or relevant, but I still uh, tell you a little bit about them. The um, most uh, startling thing for me is that I've been coming to this region for about 10 years, and in the last uh, 10, particularly five, the uh, conversation is extraordinary about the, um, the space, especially its imagin the imagination that it has um, created in the minds of the young people in UAE. Uh, sometimes I talk to them, at least uh, a few of them. So it's amazing. I think this is a great uh, development. And I repeat m uh, what others have already said, that it was palpable this morning when we had these two astronauts, not only in this panel discussion, but also in the long photo session, etc., that followed. And um, of course, I have uh, my own astronauts, so to speak. Um, these are people who uh, came from my school. And uh, I must have organized maybe 100 events or so during the time I was in charge of my school. No other event ever caught the imagination of young students like having to listen from astronauts. So space must be something really special. And maybe it is inexhaustible. Maybe it leads to all kinds of imaginations. But uh, one of the ones that has caught my imagination for a long time is the issue um, that um, was brought up um, earlier uh, this morning, asking whether we are alone. But in the meantime, UAE has accomplished a lot. And this is one of the statements I wrote in my proposal uh, stated from uh, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. And it says, well, Emirati astronauts uh, must be in space. And sure enough, a few years later, the two of them. And then when UAE Space Agency was created, this is also a statement I made at the time, the epic challenge of reaching Mars because epic challenges inspire and motivate us. And um, then since then, as you know, there is this uh, hope space park. And of course, before that, Dubai Sat and Dubai Sat 2 were created and launched, and Khalifa Sat, and there are several other uh, satellites, etc. So as I said before, the thing that has uh, kept me interested for a long time is this uh, space uh, efforts give deep meaning to our very existence in my mind. Um, this statistic was given this morning by uh, um, Gautam um, from JPL. His numbers are slightly different from mine, but I suppose they don't matter that much. In our own galaxy, there are 200 billion stars. Uh, who knows whether that's the right number. There are 50 billion exoplanets by, by estimate, and uh, many of them must be habitable. That is to say, if there you have a star there, they are not too hot by being too close, like Mercury is, and not too cold, just right like, like the Earth. And of course, we have not explored the whole uh, universe, far from it. And this is again a number that I took uh, as of one week ago, but it's slightly different from Gautam's number. 
3,262 exoplanets, with more of them as candidates, perhaps 60 of them habitable, but we haven't found any sign of life. Of course, this doesn't mean anything because we have explored only so little, but what if it continues to be a negative answer? To me, that is an extraordinary result. It gives a special meaning to human existence. Um, we must somehow then be very special and it puts extraordinary responsibility on us. Um, I don't know that's true, but I'm just saying if that is the case. Alternatively, imagine that um, on Mars, for instance, we do find life or we found that we, we find that the life existed or on other moons of our planets if in this paltry little solar system in which we live there are already two instances of life that means um, already i think it takes this special status of uh, humans i think it puts a great spin on how you think of yourself and to me, 